A lot of people have this idea that we have a government safety net that's making sure that all of the chemicals that are in our homes have been tested. But the important thing to know is that many of them, most of them, have not been tested. Uh, and that's true for the paints that you put on your wall, the things that go in your carpets, the things that uh, are in your furniture and maybe in your clothing. So it's very important for you to be on the front lines in making wise choices for your family. It might be uh, volatile organic compounds that are getting into the air and increasing asthma risk. Uh, it might be um, the substances that are used in the paints that are gonna make it uh, stay brighter longer. So when you're thinking of hazards in your home, the first thing to think about is that children are different than adults. If something is a carcinogen, if you're exposed to it, on average, the EPA has determined that young kids, it's 10 times more carcinogenic for them on average, and in some cases, 65 times more carcinogenic. So every hazard is magnified or can be magnified for kids. And it makes sense because pound for pound, they eat more than we do, and they drink more than we do, and they breathe more than, than we do. So they're getting higher doses. And even at the same dose, even at the same dose, they don't have a mature immune system to detoxify a lot of these things the way that you and I can. Many of the biggest health challenges of children of our times are on the rise. Things like autism, asthma, ADHD, allergies, uh, childhood cancers, diabetes, and all of them are linked to environmental exposures. Sometimes people object and say that making a greener choice, making a healthier choice in our food or in products around us is too expensive. But the reality is it's an investment in your family's health and well-being and your child's growth and vibrancy. It's expensive not to make these choices. So when you're making choices in your home, uh, from the ground up, there are things to be thinking about. Think about the carpet and the padding underneath. Think about your furniture and the stain protection that's on it. Uh, think about the paint that's on the walls. Think about the cleaning products that you use in your home, the personal care products you put on your body. There's so many simple changes that we can make that do give kids a better chance, that tilt the odds in their favor throughout their lives. To learn how to create a safer environment for your family, visit us at healthychild.org or pick up our book, Healthy Child, Healthy World.